Hello, and welcome to Starfield. Well, we've been out and about trying to clear out quests. I'm just going to have a look and see which one I probably want to do next. Because I'm just going to focus on these mission ones. I think that's what I think they are. Are they they're miscellaneous ones? Okay, so I might do that first contact one uh, next. But, well, I still need to get these sorted out. So, we've gone about as far as I could get with a the research. There's nothing left to research in time to prove this skill anyway. At least I can do some work on, say, like my spacesuit, for instance. But it depends on what kind of uh, materials are needed. But So I've already improved that uh, with extra capacity. Uh, the choice was hazard protection instead of, but I quite like extra capacity. Now that one... Ow, oh, now got that one which is emergency hey, aid. So uh, it admi administers emergency aid when your health is low and it recharges a short time after use. So I've now got that. It needs a set of some more. And there's regeneration. Slowly regenerate your health. Oh, that's, that's tier 3. Woodsickles. Gain items restore health and the heal more quickly. That's a possibility. Um, I usually run into that more than that, though. It could be useful to get you out of a bad situation. Let's put that in. Just on the off chance. I don't think I can do anything better than that boost pack. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's a tier three anyway, so it's already got it. So, what about helmet then? So, slot one. I think I probably want to try the EM, no, the energy shield, because that'll balance that out a bit. So, we'll go with that one. Uh, for that one. I'd rather have explosive shielding than see a sensor array. Is there anything else on here that does? I mean, slot 3 does just heavy shielding, so it's all across the board, hey, but it's tier on. 3, so I can't do that. And slot 4 has gravitic components. Oh, it's tier 3, so I can't go anywhere with that one. So really, I think it's just protection against explosives, then. I mean, not only... Really Particularly me, yeah, that don't you? Then there's that. So we've got uh, probably that one there, the ballistic shielding, just to balance everything. Yeah, rather like that one. Ah, right. Well, we've already got explosive shielding. That's a tier three. I mean, it reduces. I don't want to waste, to be honest, I'd rather just save it for the other one. Hey, uh, now, heavy shielding is across the board, but that's tier 3. I don't really bother with, with melee much, so I think I'll just leave that. Oh, pocketed would be useful. Gravitic components reduces detection from enemies, but that's tier 3. So I'll, I'll just go with that one to give us extra carrying capacity. So that's that. That's, that's it basically done. Um, fudge signals. But I need another nine. Uh, okay, tell you, what, tell you what we'll do then. Uh, let's open that. Let's grab these. So these are my range of things. What I can do is I can put... Put things on the range of one. So actually, that's a thought. What was that? That's at six. Right, so the range of pack. Uh, or two reserve, extra capacity. Let's take that off. Does that count? I'm curious to know. It does. Ah. <laughs> I 
Right, so, slot one. Uh, as a protection or extra capacity. Go with that. Slot two. Emergency aid. That one. Boost pack. Oh, that was a tier three, wasn't it? Uh, I'll leave that on because, I mean, it's already got that one. Oh, I haven't said that. Might as well we have no boost pack. Then we put on a basic boost pack. Uh, range pack. Right, leave that. Helmet. Explosive shielding. Energy shielding. Yeah, that probably makes sense, but it needs... Yeah, we need to use up the polymer. I'm looking for things that we've got plenty of. That could be a possibility. Slot four is just a comport. Well, it's using up what things? Ranger spacesuit. That could do with more energy shielding. Slot two is. Oh. oh, it's already got no more on it anyway. Booba. That's got nothing on it. Gravity components. Reduce detection from enemies. That's always. Oh, it says mod three, isn't it? Right, tell you. Um, let's go back to that one. So, extra capacity. What did that need? It needed polymer. Let's take that back off again. And we'll put that one back on again. <laughs> it's it's a bit sneaky. It's a bit it's a bit sneaky. So that's all I could have done, really. I suppose I could have just popped things on, and put something on, taken it back off again. Right, put that in there. Have that back. Space suits. Have that one back. Mannequin. Equip. Thanks. Equip. Helmets. Equip. There you go. That's my mannequin done. Right. In, uh, weapons then. And I've got a lot of them. So these are all the weapons that I'm carrying for some strange reason. So that one, I remember picking that up, but it's got no mods on it. So it's got... Uh, for the barrel, it has a standard barrel. I could improve that one, so it improves... Ooh, it increases the uh, capacity as well. Love that then. Laser. would improve the accuracy at the expense of mass. I mean, it is a sort of like a you know, shoot from the hip thing, but... Lasers. I don't really need to. I mean, it's got iron sights. Reflex sights for quicker targets. So that one is. It's already got a laser sight on it, which seems a bit nuts, but. Uh, short scope. No, that in, that's interesting. That would improve. Yeah, I'm not going to use a scope. Tactical stock. Quicker for aim down, better for stability. Magazine. Ooh, Tesla pylons will be tier three. Hornet nest. Oh, we get mini little mini explosions, but these are like tier three things. Logicals, internals. So a hair trigger. Gives you better firing rate. Installs a light trigger for increased fire rate. Let's have that. Right, so that, that's that one. Oh, no, no that was... Oh, blue bar. I should have started right at the top. Right, um... Actually, I haven't said that. What about my, my sniper rifle? It's only got a laser sight. Standard mag. 
Ooh, what about armor piercing? Ooh, we can do armor piercing now. So that's slight improvement, but that's going to be useful for getting through armor. Internals. So high velocity's got better accuracy, longer range. Don't have mod 3 for that one anyway. Hair trigger. I mean, the fire rate, it's not really, it's a sniper rifle, so it doesn't really matter. High power, though, would get us more damage, but it needs mod 3. Right, well, I'll tell you what, we'll just go with high velocity for now. That's all I can do. Uh, the disruptor that we use. Standard barrel disruptor. Longer barrel. Sounds good. Laser. So a recon. I don't think I would use a recon laser. Just a standard laser sight would do. Optics. I don't really do those though. Uh, ooh, a muzzle. Focus nozzle, uh, nozzle increases damage, headshot damage, and range. Specialized lenses vastly increase. I think I'd rather have that because the, the idea behind this is more for incapacitating people rather than actually killing them. Internals. Ooh, an amplifier. Again, I'm not really into the, the damaged. Rate of fire might be good. Oh, it's mod 3. Logisticals. What about, ooh, the mutineer. Can I do anything more with that one? So we've already got magnetic rails. Which I quite like, anyway. Laser. Don't we do a recon on that thing. Muzzle. Ooh, shock charge. No, that's not going to do me any favours. So it increases the accuracy. Okay. It says it increases long range accuracy and stability at the cost of hip fire accuracy. But the accuracy is 6 point. Yeah, the trouble is we don't, don't really, um, zoom in on anything. Don't really use a scope on that. Magazine is depleted. Well, I'm not going to move away from that. Internal. That makes more sense because it just says it's just going to increase it across the board for accuracy and range. We'll go with that. Receive is fully automatic, which I got to see. Ooh, what can I do with this? Because I like this one. So this one's got a laser sight. It's got a recon laser sight. Oh, it actually marks your enemies. Oh, we've actually got that. Oh, I'll have that then. You can see me coming to go out and get more bits and pieces though. The optics. Short scope. I normally just shoot from the hip board to be fair. So these things I'm doing may not help. Stealth lasers. Reduces the visibility and acoustic intensity of the lasers. The gist of it is it reduces the range but gives you more accuracy, which it's not that big of a boost, and I'd rather have the range. a large battery. So tactical battery. Not seeing much going there. I mean ignition beams will get you. They do more damage and they actually burn the enemy so we're losing out on going from 30 rounds to 20. Now that could be interesting. It can actually knock out people. Or disable robots. Do more damage. Ooh, that's a doozy, that one. I mean, it does more damage. That does even more damage, and it's got the potential to knock them out. I mean, whereas that's a dot, it's a slow burn. Ooh. It still keeps the same rounds, it's just got... Electromagnetic rounds. Let's go for that one. So the shattered shock. We've already done that one, haven't we? 
So then there's the shotgun. I like the shotgun. So that's got a standard barrel. So you can give it a short barrel, which eh, compensator. I don't think it suppresses something. I need a muzzle brake would improve the accuracy. But at the cost of hip. That doesn't make sense. It says increases long range accuracy and stability at the cost of your hip fire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Reduce the shotgun spread. So it's got a choke on it. Oh, it increases the range a bit as well. So let's go for that. Yeah, I'm running out of titanium though. Standard grip. Better recoil. Let's go with that then. Standard shells. Ooh, no. So the slug. Wow, 178. Single large protect, protect, uh, projectiles. So you get 42 range. Yeah, that's another damage over time thing. Because that does EM. I, I, I think I'm going to go with that. A single large projectile will do more. Travel further and it'll do more damage versus that. Quite like that. Internal. Any internals we can do. High velocity will do more damage. That needs mod 3 up there. Yeah. Better accuracy in range. Fire power of 7.3. 46. It's only a slight improvement. Yeah, it's only a slight improvement, but. Well, I don't know. Slight, slight improvement on fire rate might be interesting. Let's do that one. So that's that one, the old uh, shotgun. I don't think I can really do anything with Ellis Cutter, to be honest, can I? Yeah. So the disassembler, I don't really use that, to be honest. I mean, it kind of makes sense to put in a long barrel. A laser. Don't have what it takes to do that, but we can always put a, lo a laser sight on it. Fancy and not a laser sight. Optics. Again, I don't zoom in on anything, but muzzle so the choke gives you the better accuracy yeah I don't really need a suppressor on these things so that loses out on long range mm, quite like that one let's go with that one it's around a titanium which is a problem it's already got that. A tactical stock needs titanium. Oh, sickles, I'm going to need more. I need more titanium to improve these. Fully automatic. It needs titanium again. What about the Grendel then? Got a tech barrel. Sounds good. Stabilizing barrel. Short barrel. That seems to be the best one then. Laser sights. It's already got optics. Short scope, no. Compensator, no. It's already got a technical grip on it. Standard magazine, ooh, now that would be, that would be interesting. White hot rounds. I've been looking for a gun that does white hot rounds, I must admit. So that used 7. So I need the 7.77 white hot rounds now. Uh, yeah, titanium. I need titanium and I need ad adhesives. Burst fire. Oh wow. That could actually be useful. So it fires four rounds when you pull the trigger. But I need titanium. Oh. Punchicles. Right, so how far do we actually get on that? So I only need 10 more. Oh! Punchicles. I forgot. <laughs> Darn. Should have been wearing that. There. It's a chance to 
craft weapons, mods without buying resources. Grrr. Ah. Boobar. Boobar, I say. Boobar. Right. I think I'm probably still carrying too much. Last time I... I think I was like seriously running by my back at the moment. Okay. I think we were running out of capacity. And there's quite a bit of spare capacity there. Can I put my bits and pieces in here? Ooh, hang on. Containers at max capacity. So these are all of the which signals. Is that actually linked up to Let's have a look, is it actually linked up to Looks like I'm well I'd probably put the uh, the helium three away drilling rig. So uh, the problem I've got is these are all manufactured goods. I've run out of capacity on manufactured goods here. We haven't improved the actual um, outpost things that we can do. We can't put any any better storage facilities in yet. Hmm. Right, well I'm overloaded. I'll, I'll see if I can just dump this stuff on the ship then. I mean I could put put some Can stuff in there. Say I need more no. You're busy enough frightened about me, aren't you? About that three. Right. Oh no. Oh no no. Even when I see it with my own eyes, it is still hard to believe. Not as much as this. How come we've got trees growing through our base? The actual landing pads got trees growing through it. I'm, I'm a bit concerned. I don't know about you, but this is concerning me. Why have we got trees? We've even got trees growing through our ship. We've got much bigger problems. Hello, Vasco. We've got big problems here. So I'm going to have to go and find adhesive and um, that other stuff, titanium. I haven't said that. I wonder if there's any... There's nothing in this system. There's no planet I could find on the system that supplies any. Let me dump all this stuff in here. But, uh. Oh! Fudge sickles. That wasn't the plan. But, uh. And a carrot. And another carrot. There's no point me holding onto them things. Hmm. Ooh. That was useful, so we, I could still tap into those items in that transfer container. So what have we got? We've got antibiotics, so I could do with them. Double double pancakes plus, I don't think it was them. So, I, but there's none of these, I mean, I'm, I may as well sell these off. I don't think I can use those in, like, crafting food or anything. Um, so... Then that will do. Right, let's have a look then. So we can now carry 185, which is probably just as well, really. Hang on, what was that? New items. Oh, footsicles, it's gone now. Right, uh, let's have a look if there's a nearby system. Kumasi. No, I don't want to travel there, I just want to have a look there. Well, I guess I'll have to... Can I not? No, I can't. We'll, we'll jump over there, just out of curiosity. Right, let's have a look. An abandoned weapon station. So this has got water. Mm, no. Oh, it's a big place. That's something. Helium 3. Well, that's good, because we'd have to get out of the system anyway. What I'm interested in is any way that might give me a 
an ability to get titanium. Uh, oh, there's, there's a lot of planets there. Oh, moons, I should say. So we don't know anything. That one's got no, nothing there. No. Oh, because that's a gas giant, isn't it? Otherwise, I'm just going to have to keep running backwards and forwards to the miners. Nope. Nope. So what is that, an asteroid? Of some sort, maybe. Nope. 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 What about over, anywhere over near? Like a Kayla, for instance. All ah, right, we can't see them because we're not in the system, I bet. I mean, they don't have anything. No. Yeah, I think if you haven't been there, it doesn't know. Let's come back out again. So we are... I think there were some places it didn't know anything about. Oh, it's an asteroid. It says it's a moon, but it's just looking like an asteroid. Now that's a kind of a moon moon to me. It's a bigger place, so it's telling me about resources. What is that? Sensor conductor. What about Narion over here, then? Oh, there's two places there we could look. Oh, uh, yeah, that would be an interesting place to be setting up a base. Oh, fudge signals. I think I think I'll just for this sake, I'm just going to, have to keep coming back to the shops because I need, um, I need a decent anyway. I'm not exactly going to be able to farm that. I don't know if I'm, I mean, yeah, it's only five minutes since I was over there, so I don't know if I'm getting anything back in stock. But it's worth looking. Oh, and crikey, we're at 145. Oh, right, well, there's, there's got to be some bits and pieces I can sell off at least. But I only need 10 more. Hey, this is not the Kamasi system. So I've got a, I've got a bit of experience for something. I presume doing a bit of research or something. That's just bizarre. Right, anyway, there's a little shop around the corner here. Be careful if you run into those ecliptic jerks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, do not like them at all. Hello again. I get all kinds in here. Rangers, traders, locals, tourists. They all come to me for supplies. Makes How sense. about I just show you instead of tell you? Even better. That that makes a lot more sense. Um, tell you what, well, let me try and sell off some bits and pieces I didn't need. Chunks apples, chunks this, chunks that, chunks other chunks stuff. Yeah, you can have that. Oh, I didn't put that back. Oh, I didn't put those back either. Right. Oh, f I'll say right up front. Oh, that here, browse to your heart's content. I went to buy off you. Assume you've got something that, that I can buy in the first place, but. Oh, adhesives. See? It made sense. Aluminum. Aromatics. Sign. I don't. This is the trouble. You don't necessarily know if these are things you genuinely need or not. I can't, like. Filter it down to individual items. It just it's just everything. When you're tracking things for a project, it's just no stories, no sign of titanium. That's what I need though. I wonder if it's something you can mine. I wonder if there is large deposits of titanium out there. 
or whether you've just got to keep running around like a crazed idiot in the private sector. I need to get your little weird. rocks or something. Aquila City's really the heart of Um might want to steer clear of the stretch. Lots of crime over there. Oh, okay. Thanks for the warning. Ask anyone. Let me know if you need anything. Hopefully. Here's my current inventory. Hopefully you've got what I need. I don't know, but I'm going to find out. Um, I mean, I'll grab some aluminum. Why did I pick that up? I don't... I, I know I don't need any, um, aluminum. She doesn't have any. Bunch sickles. And I'm pretty sure I've exhausted that supply that I had over at Neon. Seems we're in the system. Uh, has this, any of these places got anything? Something? Even just as like a just a little smidgen. Uh, no. Nope. It's good if I could go somewhere and sort of like dismantle things. That would be extremely useful. Uh, no. I've got a, I've got a horrible feeling it's a, it's one of those things where you're gonna have to mine the individual rocks, unless there's only certain systems got it in, maybe. Oh, helium. Bindi, bindi, bendy, bendy, bindi. Let's head over to Helio. Why can't we set score? Oh, I'm carrying too much. Oh, bunch of sickles. Yeah, I've no idea why I picked up all that iron. I mean, we're mining it. It's like, what are you doing? That makes no sense. Wonder. I think there was a trade authority over here somewhere. I remember. Oh, there it is there. Even if I can just get things like a decent of them. I could also go back to Atlantis as well. I run the what branches. Special accounts. The trade authority looks to partner with local governments to find mutually beneficial arrangements. That makes sense. What have you got for sale? Got it. Resources. Resources. No. You, you don't have what I need. Never mind. Never mind. And um, tell you what. Here, I have something for you. Really? Thanks. Yes. Well, it seemed like a good idea. I saw it earlier and thought you might like it. Or find it useful. Or, well, whatever. Depends where it is. Um, but anyway, thanks. Thanks for thinking. Of course. Me. We are partners, are we not? I will keep an eye out in the future. And if I see something, I might hold on to it for you. Oh, cool. Thanks. Oh, credits. Yeah, I could definitely do with credits. You have my attention. Okay. If I can take a few things, I will. Good to know. Good, 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 good. Right, so you've got. Oh, you can carry 185 as well. How about. Can I give you these bits and pieces? Or at least some of them. Yes, excellent. All right then. So now we can just have a bit of a quick look over at Helio, I think it was. Let's set course for that. There's an abandoned mine there at least. Right, let's scan this place. Ah, the rare things. Oh, bunch of gold. So there's plenty of... Oh, it's an extreme environment anyway. I should have paid more attention to... Oh, bunch of gold. That's not going to make any difference then. Um... What about... Yeah, it's New Atlantis, isn't it, that I'm thinking of? Is this Jemison? 
Bonda. We don't know anything. So let's... Well, at least I'll head over to Jim. So I'm not going to land on the place, but... Just sort of have a peek around. Because what I'm thinking of is... I can always go into... Some, like, shops there and see if they've got it. Yeah, this titanium's proved to be a bit of a... Grab jump spinning oh. down. You are entering United Colony space. Look, those... Yeah, yeah, you, you have a quick peek around while I have a peek around the rest of the system. I have a sneaking suspicion I am... All you can do is just pick up the chunks, mine the individual rocks. Ooh. There's no sign of any around there. What, what is Kurt? Is that a moon? Okay, I guess we'll have to just land them. Get our fingers and toes crossed that they've got some. Uh, let's head for... Oh. Why can't I land? Interesting, I can't land here. No, oh, because they're still scanning us. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. All right, we're done. Right, now we can land. Man, they're so fussy, these people. Right, let's try down here then. Because you never know, they might have some. Oh, actually, I thought. Oh, that's a thought. No, I don't think I've got any on the ship. I doubt it. I very much doubt I've got any on this ship. Right, come along. I'm assuming you're coming along. It's all those extra resources weighing you down. It's good for weight training, if you didn't know. Right, I've got around the corner here. I can raise attention. <laughs> There was something about speaking to a bartender or something. Yes. Oh, what? I'm, I don't want to get distracted. I've got other things to do. No distractions. I am not a star. I. Ooh. Hope you're finding everything you need. You've got an ego problem, mate. If you don't see what you want, feel free to ask. Yep, I'll ask. Oh, please take a look. I will. That's why I'm here. Uh, oh, adhesive. You can always do with more adhesives. Uh, aromatics, no idea what I need them for. Benzines, what the heck? Anything? Oh, no, I don't need that. Uh, no, I made the mistake of buying that stuff before and I don't need it. Uh, yeah, I might need it. Sealant, spice. Oh, oh yeah, you've got some titanium. Right, tell you what, um, since I bought all this extra, oh, I gave the iron to you, didn't I? Never mind, never mind. Thanks. Thanks for shopping at Jemison Mercantile. You're welcome. Right, now I'm overloaded a bit and I can't fast travel. Oh. Watch signals. Yeah, I've got a sneaking suspicion. I'm gonna have to mine the individual power. rocks. I'm glad it is in your hands. It is useful. Having hero dust on the stand there. Woohoo! I'm stuck in the rocks. So yeah, I don't know how much titanium I need, but... Oh, if I pop that board on... That might actually help me. Oh! Oh dear, I'm not feeling very well. Be a problem. No longer got a problem. Hi. Please disregard. I will. I'll completely ignore you, in fact. Oh, hang on a minute. Talk to this one. Right, uh, we should go to. Let's see where we're going to go to. We're going to go to that place where apparently we've got an outpost, which is out in the middle of nowhere, somewhere. 
Which is why I can't remember where it is. Right, it is up here. Yeah. That's a major. Or oh, Majorus is like me. Right, somewhere around here is where we are. There. Hopefully there somebody's got rid of the trees. I'm not I don't really appreciate having trees uh, on the landing site, especially when they're growing through your ship. It's a bit awkward. Oh, hang on a minute. You've got bits and pieces on you now, haven't you? Oh, right. Um, I'll probably have to grab those bits and pieces off you when I get over here. Right. So we need ten more weapons mods. Yeah, what's up? So that's... Um, hello, hello. Right. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's put our code on. We've got a special code for all this. Why didn't I think about that before? Right, so, tech barrel laser, compensator, internal. Yes, that needed titanium, so high powered. Interesting. So that increases your accuracy and range, whereas that increases the damage. So, oh, it's a mod two, uh, three. We'll go with that one then, because we basically have no other choice. So then there's the breach. So that's got a long barrel. Standard grip and stock. I was gonna put a tactical one on that, wasn't I? Right, so that needs uh that needs a something. Hang on, a minute, what have we got in here? We don't have anything. Now that's missing something. Oh it needs platinum. Jeez Louise, what about the receiver? Now what are we missing? Oh, it needs... What does that need? Does that mean we don't have... we haven't learned them? Needs receiver mods too. Oh, for well. Uh, so I can't go any further on that, because that's a mod 3. And that was the one that needed platinum. So better... Uh, hang on, hang on. I'll need a track of that then. I think I've got about as far as I could with the rest of them. Right, where is... Give me your guns. What is it? Did you need me to carry something for you? No, no. Uh, quite the opposite, in fact. I'm going to take all the bits and pieces off of you. Uh, oh, you've actually got two breaches. Why have you got two breaches? Thank you. Until next time. Which won't actually be long. Right. I need to improve her gun, so... There's a breach that she's carrying, so that's got a standard barrel, so I'll give that a long barrel. Now would be a good time to replay or take what we bring with us and what we do to find. Or so. Or uh, Give that one. Ooh, it marks enemies, that could be good. It's got better accuracy, so I'll give her that one. I don't think she she more it's more likely to be used the Equinox though. Can put a technical stunt on that one? Magazine and battery standard. Let's give it that one because it ripples out and it'll do a lot of damage there. Receiver. Yeah, so the cost of accuracy boot. I mean, semi automatic, I think that'll be fine. So, where is her? I'm sure I had a Necrox from her. There it is. So hang on, have we not got a... Yeah, didn't really do anything with that pistol, to be honest, but... So which one... Oh, Fubo, which is the one that I'm using? Yeah, that's the one I'm using. So the one I need for her is just the normal Equinox one. Right, okay. So that doesn't have... 
It's the internals. So you overclock. Oh, I can't do overclocked anyway. Precision tuning would be good. Uh, only on semi automatic. Standard cover. I think it. Because the amplifier boosts the energy quite a lot. I mean, that accuracy improvement's not that much. Ah, now here. Electromagnetic beams, ignition beams. It's got more magazine. More magazine capacity, which could be good. Oh, that one's tempting. Oh, it's mod 3. Right, I'll give her a large battery then. There we go, so we've done that. Right, let's go. Is that one just in... I may as well improve it a bit. Uh, optics. Right, I'll give her those because I've, I've sorted that out now. It's handy. Right, I'll give her the yes, breach you back. need me? Um, no, I just need to give if you some If there's weapons. anything you need, I am happy to share. No, it's okay. Uh, if we go back to weapons then, so... That's not the one I'm carrying. Okay. Oh, because maybe that's because they're now... That, ah, right, so they've been renamed. Right, you can have those. The breach was something I need to keep hold of, because it's... Ah, no, there's the officer's breach. So you can have that one. So that just leaves... Right, an old shotgun. And a bridger. Very good. So may as well improve them over here. Right, so there is the... Is that one there? So that's already got a long barrel in sense too. Right, so I can't really do anything with that anyway. Air trigger. Okay, well that was easy enough. It's not a great deal I can do with that one. What about the shotgun? Short barrel. Standard issue, slight longer range. So, I'll uh, just go with a standard barrel. Uh, it's got a compensator on it. Choke would give it more accuracy. Increases stability, I suppose, but I'll put the choke on that one. No, nope, leave that. Magazine. Slugs. Ooh, that would do a heck of a lot more damage. Let's call the slugs. Internals. Ah, uh, route bits and pieces again. More titanium. Right, so I'll give it those ones. Did you need something? Hello, oh, have you gone? What have you got for me? I've got your guns again. Right. Uh, right, so I'll sell that off. You can have that back. I wasn't thinking of anything in particular to do that with that one, but I'll give you those. Right, so your weapons. Uh, you can focus on that one for now. Um, right, so... 3 kilovolt, 3 kilovolt, 7.5. 3 kilovolt, so I haven't got any, I need to get us some 7.5s then. Ooh. I don't know if that's going to work as these are white hots though. I don't think they do. What else have you got? 40 and 12 G's. Nope. She doesn't have any... Oh yeah, she's got the 12 G shotguns. So it's the 40s that she needs. Which I'm not seeing. Oh, there's one. Look at that. That's a 
thought. Is there anything on the actual ship? No. Right, what else have you got then? Oh, it was the 12G shells. 15 by 25s. Yeah, so you've, you've got you've got plenty to keep you going, I think. Um, I keep whatever you give me, yes? That is the deal? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Um, you're wearing your... Yeah, you are going to use those. That's... Right. Back to it then. Good, good, good. Right, so, 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 so that's done. That's done. So that's a two. That's all. Oh, right, so that only needs to go one further. But I need to be able to do special projects. It needs three more. So that'll, that'll do because I just need one in there, two in there. Then that should unlock my chances of there, uh, my chance to do the actual special projects. It says big guns and everything. Um. Hmm. I do want to do this though. Get better stuff for the actual ship. I mean, the ship's doing pretty good, I must admit. Uh, hmm. Oh, now that's a thought. Recruitment. How are we doing on this ship? Because I think, I think, I think, I think I've got one. I've already got three people assigned to this ship. Uh, trouble is now that Sam's gone. We're missing out on on her useful skill set. I'm just to see if I can find anybody who can do what she could do, or at least something similar. But I need that skill point. I need to be able to use ship command. So then, if I get that, allow me to recruit somebody else. Ooh, actually, we're not far off, actually. Okay, we're about halfway through. Okay. Okay, right. Um, I'm carrying too many bits and pieces, it seems. What's a bit of lovely titanium again? Right, um, hang on. We're Ranger Dan Dangerous, aren't we? So I should be going around dressed as Ranger Dan Dangerous. Not as a master criminal who we apprehended you. earlier. Well, actually, we didn't, now that I think about it, we didn't apprehend them. Um, yeah, things didn't exactly go to plan there with Dr. Orleans. Uh What have we got in here, then? So... Spacesuits, weapons... Resources. Can I transfer these bits? Now, well, that's at max capacity. Because there are all the resources going in there, so it's, as far as I recall, I think it's filling it up there and then back down there. Right, we need a bit of a... Oh, we can do that now. Interesting. We can do that now. Can we start here? Right, um... find out where I can get titanium from. That is a problem. I mean, this will be full up of the data frames, probably. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could definitely do with... I could do with them um, being able to build bigger storage, but that needs... Actually, what skills? I think that certainly the outpost skill. Or is, does it give you the research? Association, Chicago. Something somewhere allows me to build better systems, better modules. That that comes in. It's part of the research. I mean, that's what builds ship, ships. It's 
come under here. Outpost engineering. Yeah, it's the outpost engineering that I need. It's a bit frustrating because hell is here, but it doesn't seem to count. Right, well, I'll have to put all these bits and pieces. Um, Captain Dan, greetings. Hello. I'll have to put all these bits and pieces on the ship. I'm going to have to find somewhere. I mean... Yeah, somewhere... I'd like to think that somewhere out there there is titanium that I could mine. I'd rather do that than just keep sitting outside of... Uh, Shops. Alright, put that in there. 146. I'm still ca Why am I carrying all this extra stuff? In fact, what is all this extra stuff I'm carrying? Onions. I don't think an onion's going to weigh that much. Or a potato. Uh, synth chicken. Hamburgers. Turkeys. Lotus. Uh, oh. Miscellaneous. Oh, I believe Willoughby here. Two and a half for a terrarium. Well, they don't weigh anything. Oh, I need to sell that, don't I? Curious and curiouser. Oh, gr um. I don't mean use, I should do. I should use mines one of these days, if I ever remember. What if I could have sorted these out? I think the, by the weight that they're taking up, that might give me a clue. Hmm. Right, but in the meantime, I think when, now that I've done those, I think I'm going to head off and do that. That was the plan. Because I remember there was a, an emergency transmission. So what does it say? We need to speak with the chief. So I need to land down here. It's to do with that. Unidentified ship. Whoa! Okay, that, that's not working then. So we're going to have to land on Paradiso. Find out what the heck's going on. So I think it's to do that ship, because I remember we, we came here for some reason. Maybe we were just passing by. <laughs> I remember getting a Ready for touchdown. I was to go and meet this chief. I think it's to do with the ship. We shall get off and we shall go and chat with the chief. How can I be of service, Captain? Um, just stay here. Keep an eye on the ship, mate. It's all that I can ask. Right, where is this here? Where's the chief? If I was a chief, where would I be? I'd be... Let's see, where would I be? I'd be over there. Ah, uh, so that's the security. Where's the door? There's the door. We should go and have a chat. Because that's what you do. Hello, Chief. Welcome to Paradiso. Jiro Sukiyama at your service. Do you have a security concern, or is there something else I can help you with? No, no, it's just about the actual distress call. Ah, yes, of course. I'm glad you came. As you can imagine, we're in a bit of a predicament. Under normal circumstances, we would not enlist outside help in this manner. But this is a matter we can't afford to worry our guests about. As such, okay. we need to handle this discreetly. Failure on your part to do so could have severe consequences. So, Hi, Pop. before we proceed... Can you swear not to discuss this with anyone else unless explicitly directed to do so? Um. Well. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that, that's that's not really much of a problem. I can certainly do that. What do you need? 
Great. I appreciate it. Not too long ago, a strange and enormous ship appeared in Parima space. It is now locked in orbit around our planet. So far, it doesn't seem to be hostile, but any attempts to communicate with it have been in vain, so we're unsure of the ship's intentions. Well, I mean, if it was hostile, it would have started, like, attacking, wouldn't it? So, I've not responded to communications? Yeah, not quite. It took some time, but we received a transmission. It was all... Pardon the phrasing. It sounded almost alien, like nothing anyone's heard before. Clicks, distorted groans, buzzing, really disturbing sounds. Now, one of our engineers says it could just be some busted comm equipment or incompatible signals, but we're not sure. So far, no one's disembarked from the ship. No landing craft, nothing. We don't have the staff or ships to spare, and otherwise we'd dock with it and attempt to board. Yeah, I tried to contact them and I wasn't really getting much out of them. So, you any idea who this ship belongs to? It bears no discernible markings or allegiances to any manufacturers we're aware of. Hmm, okay. I'm hoping that doesn't mean we're dealing with some sort of new deep space threat. Hmm. I've already got that problem quite frankly, but no mate. Um, so, what exactly do you think we're dealing with? Can't say for sure. Looks worn, but not cobbled together like a crimson fleet junker. Others have been saying it's some new Varun design, a gigantic battleship with hidden armaments preparing for assault, but that doesn't check out either. There's also been talk about non-human sentient life. The comms data we received might support that, but humanity spread far and wide and no one's ever encountered anything like that. Still, first contact. Could you imagine? Hmm. Well, it could be just, like, busted up or something. Maybe it's just a drift and just happens to have finished here. Anyway. Um. Yeah, I mean, is there anything I can do in particular? It is. Whatever's going on, we need to approach this with care. First, see if you have more luck communicating with them. If not, you may have to try boarding. Whatever you do, it's important to remember to seek diplomacy with who... Or whatever's on board. As soon as you have any more information, report to Oliver Campbell. He's the CEO of Paradiso. All formal decisions will need to go through him, and he'll have your pay. Good luck. Hmm. Well, I mean, to be fair, I've already tried healing them myself. That didn't get me anywhere, but... Uh... This is definitely cute. I wonder why my laser guns are pointing in weird directions. Yeah, that's definitely... Oh, you can't... Alright, this is just a, a... tourist attraction. I don't think I'll be able to buy any titanium here. Hmm. If I was a piece of titanium, where would I go? Where would I be? Who knows? I'm not a piece of titanium, how would I know? Always a satisfying moment to return to your ship. I don't know, it's a strange ship up in the sky somewhere. Hang on a minute. Hang on, hang on. Is there anything in here? Oh, there's not. Oh, is there anything? Actually, I just thought, is there any, any on port? Resources. Nope, there's nothing there either. Signals. Right, tell you what. Let's take off at least and. Hmm. It's going to be a puzzle, this. And I don't think it's to do with a starboard. This never gets old. Lift off! Pumping retros. Orbit achieved. Stabilizing. Done. Right, okay. Right, I'll try again. Uh, hello? Oh, this is damn dangerous. Jeez, this is gonna blow my ears out. Um, can you hear me? Um, 
can ask if there's any more other comms rear, but if it is, if not, well, tell me, other. Do you need any help? Well, I think boarding's the only option, then. Jeez, please. Right, that, that was terrible. Yeah, I think that's going to be the only option, really, is boarding this ship and then because it's a it is actually a big ship yeah, it's a bit more energy into the engines here but I think that's the only option is to board and see what's going on I mean they haven't identified it as belonging to anyone that they know of which intrigues me how we're able to actually talk with them then It's usually like an agreement about this. Uh, we're docked. Yeah, that's good to know. So, yeah, it's intriguing that we've actually been able to, to dock with them. But, yeah, that's, um... That's a big ship, and I'm very curious, then... Who on earth is it on board, or is there anybody on board? I mean, is it just drifting in space and just happen to get here? Couldn't make anything out when we were trying to communicate with them. Curious and curious. Oh well, guess we'll just have to try and board and see what we found. We're all here because we're committed to the biggest question of all. What's out there? You're part of Constellation now. Part of our family. We do not fully understand all that is at work here. No finer group in the stars to be unraveling this mystery. I'll follow you from here on out, Captain. Grab jump is ready. I love this part. These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. Another great secret the universe is asking us to unravel. Human settlements throughout the galaxy could be at risk. We are not stopping. Whatever lies at the end of this road, will change humanity forever. This is where we belong. <laughs> <laughs>